Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another edition of Intuitive Angling here. Really appreciate you guys checking the video out, taking a little time out of your day. And today we're going to talk about, I'm going to try to start doing a couple things a week on things that you can use right now on the lake as far as, you know, seasonal, like that's going on right now. And one of the things I want to talk about today is how to fish marina docks in the summer, which marina docks are one of the best structures to catch bass on and they, they, they're on about every lake across the country. So I'm going to give you guys some tips and advice on how to get some catch some fish around marina docks right now in the summer. I'm um, real quick before you just get started here. Just wanted to give you guys a weekly reminder. If you guys are interested in becoming a member of the channel, one of the best ways, one of the best things you can do to help support the channel if you like what I'm doing here, um, just go to my YouTube homepage and click on Intuitive Memberships, or click on the About section on my YouTube homepage and then click on Intuitive Memberships. You get stuff like extra videos every week that aren't seen by the public, access to my personal email address for your fishing questions. Much appreciated there, guys. Okay, Marina Docks, guys. There's uh, very few lakes. In fact, I don't know hardly any lakes across the country that don't have <coughs> some Marina Docks on, on the, the, the lakes, you know, that there are. Now, Marina Docks, obviously not all of them are, are equal. Um, it depends on the type of lake that you have as far as you know how many fish actually use them there's always some bass that use them but i sort of want to give you guys a foundation of uh, what to look for based upon uh, just a couple different uh, types of lakes that you may be familiar with so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go by water clarity uh, water clarity and water depth have everything to do with your approach on marina docks um, most of the time marina docks are positioned over some deeper water because they have large boats in them and uh, for the most part, they're in the outside edges of those marina docks are in anywhere between, you know, 15 to 60 foot of water, depending upon the lake. Like here in, in Missouri, you know, Lake of the Ozarks and uh, Table Rock Lake, a lot of the marina docks are in over 60 foot of water on the outside edges. But then if you go down to maybe some lowland impoundments, some of the marina docks may have, you know, 10 or 15 feet of water. In general, this is what happens, what you have to remember, guys, regardless of the water clarity. If you have marina docks where the outside uh, corners and outside the, the, the farthest parts away from the bank, if they are in over 20 foot of water, you tend to have a, a pretty good population of bass that will suspend around those docks, regardless of the water clarity. And if you have shallow marina docks, like sometimes some of the marina docks like up north or in shallow water, those fish are not gonna be suspended as much. They're gonna be on the bottom. Now, you'll have a combination of both regardless of the water clarity. Say for example, I'll, I'll use a typical marina dock at Lake of the Ozarks. Maybe some of the, the walkway areas, the inside slips are gonna be in less than 10 foot of water. Um, the, this is where you're gonna catch your fish on the bottom in the summer. You can throw shaky head, finesse jig, all that type of stuff around the shady areas, around the dock corners, around in the boat slips and catch them. Another great way to catch them around marina docks, uh, regardless of the water clarity, is a topwater bait early and late in the day around the, if there's any like riprap or sea walls, uh, you know, by the walkway of a dock. That's one of the best ways to catch some good ones is I like to take like a chugger or something like that right off the bat in the morning and fish it around any riprap or sea walls around those marina docks. Really good way to catch them. Now, what happens is once you move out over 15 foot of water, regardless of the water clarity, that's when those bass will start suspending on those marina docks. Now, the technique that you use on a marina dock for those suspended fish is completely dictated by the water clarity. If I'm fishing an off-colored water lake, like say for example, like Grand Lake in Oklahoma, you know, Lake you fall in Alabama, you know, any type of off-colored water lake, or water visibility that you have less than three foot of visibility in, um, most of those bass are gonna be suspended, you know, less than five feet down for the most part. And one of the favorite ways that I like to catch them, there's three different ways. I like to either throw a jerk bait down the sides of the docks, I like to swim a jig, or I like to throw a swim bait. One of those three things will usually catch them. And one of the big keys on there, guys, is fishing uh, you know, the dock corners themselves and uh, down the sides of the docks where there's any shade. Those fish will suspend right underneath those dock floats if the water dirt visibility is dirty. Even if you've got like six inches of visibility and the water's 20 foot deep, they'll still, in the summertime, 
they'll still suspend underneath those deeper docks and that's when I like to take like a swim jig around them. Now my favorite situation for docks is fishing marina docks where you have clear water, water visibility over three feet. Ideally, I like to say three to 10 foot of water. And what I'm looking for in this is this is when these bass start suspending a little bit deeper in the slips of the boat docks. One of my favorite ways to catch them guys is to take a like a three quarter ounce or even a bigger, like a, a bigger flutter spoon and pitch that flutter spoon, spoon into the slips of those walkways. Pitch it out there, pitch it as far back up as you can, even if there's a boat in there, free spool it down, let it go down 10 or 15, 20 foot and just pop it up off the bottom. That's a really good way to catch them. Another good way to catch them is fishing a drop shot on the outside corners of those docks. Just simply get on the outside corners, drop that drop shot vertically down, you know, anywhere between 15 to 30 foot, and you can catch them doing that. And one of the key things you need to remember is pay attention to those cables that go off on the end of the marina docks. Those cables will have algae on them and the algae brings in shad and you can catch fish on swim baits and drop shots around those cables all the way down to the bottom. So that's just a few, you know, quick tips on marina docks, guys. Don't pass them up. The summer is my favorite time to fish a marina dock and uh, I've just caught tons of fish on them this time of year. So. Hope those few tips helped you guys catch a few more, and we'll talk later. See you.